What is up everybody, it's your boy Rogue here. So, I am in the deep depths of the suburbs for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals at my shop. I'm in the car still, and if you guys can see it right now, Sully's a bowl, it's that yellow sign. You guys probably couldn't see it. I'm actually parked near the front of the uh, spot, and um, locals start in nine minutes. But nevertheless, man, y'all guys can come here for where I'm at. You guys come here to see what deck I'm playing today. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get all my u bell stuff. Nobody, for whatever reason, had the opening of the Spirit Gates and the Dark Beckoning Beast. So your boy had to order it on TCG Player. I don't like ordering on TCG Player. They have a 12 to 15 business day um, shipping thing going on right now. Luckily, I placed more today in the shop. Shout outs to them. It says they shipped it already. The shop on TCG Player is called Hub Bub Gaming. So that's one of you guys. Shout out to you, bro. You just shipped my product. So. Hopefully I get it by next week and I can start building on my Ubel deck. I dig through all my bulk to see if I had anything for the deck. And I was able to find a Gustav Max and some more stuff I can use to Ubel extra deck. So that deck list is um, said it coming along. But in this video, I'm actually using um, Heroes. I revised my list from like two months ago to fit the current metagame. All I did was add in Nibiru's, add in Droz. I took away Droplet from the main deck. I'm not even going to side it because I don't think it's that good right now. Because the format don't really have a lot of board, they don't really have like a, a lot of Omni Negate boards. It's really just a lot of stuff you can break boards easily just by just doing things with like a nib or a draw and shutting the opponent's turn off. So my goal is that if I'm going second, hopefully, hopefully I open up draw or nib or just a combo hand to be my opponent. If I go first, set up Dark Law, DP, GG, no re. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how often I play error today because I haven't touched this deck in a while and I know I'm gonna play error, but I'm having a good time. Also, shout outs to um, this non-sponsored, but Hop Tea, man. This is some good stuff. If you guys have Hop Tea in your area and you guys like beer, but you guys don't wanna drink beer all the time, check it out, man. Um, I like this um, stuff, it's really good. It tastes just like an IPA. But instead of alcohol, it has caffeine. It's actually really just tea. So it gives you the same benefits of that flavor with a little bit of a um, kick to your system. That's just not making you drunk. So I'm actually pretty pumped for this event. Pretty excited. I'm just a little tired because I just left the house and I worked out earlier today. So nevertheless, man, like I always been telling you guys, with all that being said, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's begin. See you guys after round one. All right, guys, I got this hermit. Um, so apparently they changed the start times. So luckily, they were able to squeeze me in with a buy. Shout out to the shop. They're pretty good things. Best some subscribers actually doing this shadow. We got to say hey to the camera. Um, just ran to them, about to sign some cards and everything. But yeah, man, I um, guess I got a win so far. <laughs> Not even complaining at all. I didn't even realize they changed their start times. So um, tournament pack entry, tournament entry this time is a little cheaper, and they give you one OTS pack. So let's open it up right now to see what exactly I got. And there's a Digimon tournament going on in the background. The Yu-Gi-Oh tournament looks pretty crowded today, about probably 16 people. So glad the shop is um, having a lot of more numbers because it's a nice shop. Really cool environment. It's a little smaller here, but it's really nice. All right, let's see. Well, I didn't pull an ulti. And I don't know if this is good or bad. But, yeah. So far, packs are um, meh. But, nevertheless, um, I ain't complaining at all. A, buy, a win is a win. So, I guess I'll just catch you guys after round two. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm going to round two of the tournament, not round one. I almost misplayed myself in this speaking. I'm running into dinosaurs. A deck I did not expect. Um, he went for of Prosperity, dig for Sig, play the Cash Tiro, pass. Let him get his search up. I had the Empire. I figured I'd just save my Empire for my following turn just to shut off that Fenrir. So that way I don't have to run into anything else. He did have an Ash Blossom. However, I am going to have enough um, field advantage to push through and make Plasma to take his Fenrir. So that way I can just Omni to get what well, not Omni to get. Just negate all his monsters and have a way just to not lose. And that was able, actually it would help me seal the deal because he wasn't able to beat over my plasma and he kind of played into it because he didn't know what plasma did he said he was kind of new to the game so he wasn't very familiar with the hero deck coming to the game two he bricked he sat one pass which is this imperm he had a handful of hand traps however i was able to just keep on going and keep on going and keep on going and push for a lot of damage um i wasn't able to ot cam on that turn however i did poke for 17 However, I am going to draw him, in, which is going to slow him down so I can ult him on my turn. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. Round two is over end up beating um, Dinosaurs. I've played against that in a while. I was kind of scared, but I ended up getting it. Um, didn't play error, surprisingly. My hero deck went ham. I had good hands both games. My opponent brick ganked too, luckily. So 
I guess there's going to be either one or two more rounds left. It's like, what, six, 12, 16 people. So there should be four rounds, and we're just going to try it out. I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Peace. All right, guys. I'm going to round through the tournament. I actually had an anime moment. I might actually name this video. I had an anime moment at locals because I played against U Bell, and it's very. I mean, I didn't really watch season three of GX, so this is the arc I didn't watch. But I do know it's a very prominent arc in the anime where Jaden, I guess, runs into U Bell, and U Bell's an actual person using his own U Bell deck. And I'm essentially Black Jaden running into U Bell at locals, running the U Bell deck, and. Man, this was a tough game, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I made a big misplay game one. I'm still learning how to fight against U Bell, even though I'm trying to build a deck and I've done extensive research on it. Playing against it is a whole other can of worms because there's so many different things you gotta account for. It's almost like you gotta play a game that's different than Yu Gi Oh! The deck play is so unique with the Super Probably Trap card, the fact that Nightmare Pain makes you attack, and the fact that when you attack them, you take the damage instead. Like, I dealt heavy damage myself turn one. I was grinding to come back because I eventually was just not attacking or, and I was eventually sitting on an Empire Infinite Impermanence so that way if I Empire Name Monster, get rid of that Nightmare Pain, I don't have to worry about at least running into, you know, running into some heavy damage. The hero deck actually kind of had a fair matchup against you, Bell due to all the destruction capabilities from Sunriser and the, you know, the fusion. Neos, the Neo Space Jam Fusion. So, lost game one because the Neo Space Jam Fusion can pop back row. But back to what I was saying, lost game one because I just got too much heavy damage dealt to, dealt to myself earlier in the game. When I was starting to come back, my opponent just brought out a U Bell, and I forgot what happened. They either crashed to me or whatever, and I took the damage and I lost. Pretty simple. Coming into game two, opponent didn't draw the best hand. Kind of just did okay. I think my opponent drew more of their. What's that deck called? That that other engine that, that U Bell players are using, can't think of the name right now. The Unchained Engine. My opponent drew more of an Unchained Engine. And I kind of drew more of a standard hero hand. I got hit with the Shifter, which sucked. And I got hit with Nibiru. So it was kind of like, ugh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But set two and pass. My um, Nibiru token had big, heavy damage because I was just trying to go off. And I put on some of the Unchained play. However, it didn't have any U Bell stuff. So I'm like, well, I did have the. Favorite contact. I'm gonna make a DP with it. This is one of my favorite things. My favorite contact. You can just save it and just make stuff out of your grab out of your bench, which is really good. So I'm just waiting and waiting. Checking my extra deck. Um, and I was just make into a dark home upon his turn. To eat the um you bail out of the hand off the search. Made favorite contact to make DP. To try to come back, and that's actually gonna seal my deal because my opponent has some instance our lowest. A DP pop on summon. So that Lotus card won't get us back. And GG no read. Coming to the game three, we had a little no time left on the clock. I was trying to go first to but go ahead and stop it. My opponent had hand traps and gonna be in time with the U Bell. GG no read. Good game, U Bell player. Good game. That's round three of the break. I smacked my U Bell. I think it's smacked. It was a really good game. Game one. I kind of ran into a lot of the plays. But I keep forgetting a lot of their effects, so I took a lot of damage. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I just burned damage. Game two, I played a lot smarter, though. Really was saving my imperms for a lot of the U-Bell monsters. And um, that actually kind of won me the game, that and popping his back row with the um, Shining Flame Wingman. And then game three, down to the wire, he bricked, but it actually helped because he said he had double D barrier, double Ash Blossom, so I couldn't burn in time. We were going to time, and then I had a lonely little increase on the field in attack mode, and Ubel just ran himself, and that was all she wrote. So I was like, ugh. So yeah, not tripping though. It was a fun game. Actually, it's definitely a TV show game. Um, Ubel versus Heroes. It feels good to play my Hero deck again. I haven't played it in two months, and I'm not misplaying. I thought I'd be misplaying like crazy, but my muscle memory is there, so I'm actually playing the deck really well. It's just you bell is you bell what can you do it it has super poly i ran into super poly game one it was just dumb which is why i want to play that because it made that super poly it has a trap card version of super poly and then on top of that it just it's just really good and resilient because you forget that spirit of your bell can make sure about battle because it's an attack mode nightmare pain allows you to your opponent take the damage so yeah the deck's really good also 
I was able to pick up some more of my UBL stuff. Shout out to um, Broski back here. Alex, he hit me up on Facebook saying that he had the UBL stuff. He actually brought it to me. So I got the Spirits, my Nightmare Pains, and the Samsara Lotus. And I ordered my um, core, the rest of the core online. So there's one more round left. I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I went to the final round of the tournament. Ended up playing against Brandon Illusion. And this was a pretty good game as well. Actually, it was a pretty... Um, Degenerate game because me and my opponent both kind of had weird hands. The game one I completely break, double increase. I was mad. I'm like, ugh, this is why I don't play heroes. My hand was just terrible. So I just sat and increased pass. I saw that brand of fusion. I'm like, yep. Yeah, I'm about to lose. And he had the imperm for the increased play. I was like, yeah, GG, no re. Coming to the game two, I, I forgot what I sided in because I kind of sided all of my branded hate. And I just went, oh yeah, I'm, I'm lying. I sided out my Nibiru for Ash Blossom. I'm siding Ash Blossom because four branded. Cause I know against Brandon Illusion, they can play under five summons. So I'm like, Nibiru is dead against this matchup. So I went first, had a good hand my opponent. So they, they kind of didn't draw the best hand. And I just started to pop it off. So I kind of um, was trying to remember my combo. I think I play error. So I was trying to go for an even better field. However, I think my field wasn't terrible, but I am going to run into a Nibiru. Luckily for me, I got DP, pop, chain, pop. DP, come back on the semi-phase. I had some back row, which is pretty good. And luckily for me, this is branded Illusion versus regular Brandon. I probably would have lost right here because Brandon just has plays for days. And But I came back and won. And then coming to game three, luckily for me, my opponent's on a brick. Kind of fell back because I'm like, oh, I brick game one, he brick game three. Ended up winning game two because game two was a grinder. And game three was as good. Um, I had the Imperm for the Alibur. So I guess my opponent didn't really brick. I just had the out. And sometimes it just be like that. It's up the Alibur. And they don't have a follow-up play. They just lose. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. I right, guys, round four of them ended up beating, um, what was your name? I'm sorry. Branded. Branded Gazelle Mystical Beast. So it was an interesting game. Want to shout out to your buddy? And then my buddy though, Matt, he plays Heroes, he's been playing it for, for no joke his whole life. Damn. Nice. Decades, it's crazy. I revenge you, sir, because he told me he beat your but you yeah. he told me he beat you, Matt, so I got I got him for you. <laughs> but anyway, Matt, if you uh, see me come up here and say hey, it'd be cool. And then um just chilling, so I'll finish X1 today. It was a, got lucky, like I said, they squeezed me and I was happy because I didn't want to make waste the drive. And yeah, man, I'm um, just having fun. Voices, voices in the room, other decks, rogue decks, and not a snake ass fire king's sight. I think people are just bored of that deck, which makes sense. And then, of course, in every tier zero format, people are always going to play whatever deck they like anyway. But we all know snake ass fire king is still the best deck. It just got to handle the format until it, the deck gets hit, which I think is going to get hit eventually. Probably, I don't even know what's going to happen, but probably do something that's not kill the deck that just came out, just make it more fair. And I think it was fair before Popular and everything else came out. And um, the one 3000 attack monster, I can't think of his name. The one when he leaves the field, bring back two. I think he should just be, Flamber should just be banned in my opinion, personally. He breaks that deck, honestly speaking. He's just so good. Because it helps them in their grind game so much, but that's just my opinion. Um, I could be wrong. But nevertheless, uh, look at this. <laughs> He's like, F it. <laughs> People hate that deck. So I'm going to catch you guys on um, the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Tournament's over. Ended up getting, like, I don't know, second or third or whatever. Anyway, this is my packs. Um, yeah, U Bell's the only one to beat me, and U Bell tied for first. So congrats to the U Bell player. So one of my packs, I'm get up out of here. But yeah, man, that last round was pretty cool. Um, just had the outs. What can I say? Uh, let's see. Big money, big money, big money. Come on. Good card, good card, good card. Good card, good card, good card. And it's not a good card. This looks like trash. Next up, another U Bell pack. I got everything I needed now, but I was well open it up to. I hope my back can pull something good. So first time I'm back with Heroes was not terrible at all. Come on, big money, come on. Nope, dang. Swallows, Kauri. All right, Balance Masters. Hey, big money, big money. Come on, something good, come on. Full of burial. Nope, and honest. Let's see another pack of this. Come on. Oh. And last pack. So far, poor crap. Ugh. 
Moan out to you and not out to you. Ah, I thought I was gonna get lucky. Oh well, man, I ain't tripping. At least I did decent. Um, got content. That was the main goal to coming out here. And um, guess I'll catch you guys back at the crib with my closing statements. And I'm excited to play with you, Bell, man. Especially after losing against it. The decks seems really good. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you give it a big thumbs up. I'm gonna preface this by saying I hate this GoPro. It's getting on my nerves. Um. First part of the intro, so I didn't film the intro at here because for one, after this review on the footage, I'm like, well, I kind of shot a solid intro when I was at Locals. I'm not going to just reiterate the same crap. Um, this GoPro just, the audio was just not syncing well. I just think, I don't know, I think, think maybe it's just time to get a new one or I'm, I'm getting a new camera eventually. Nevertheless, rant's over. Back to the tournament. Tournament was solid. Um, Heroes played really well. Even though I played against all Rogue decks. U Bell is definitely a contender to be one of the better decks in X format, especially when a new fusion comes out that's more of a monster in the game. So shout out to U Bell. U Bell game was definitely the hardest matchup of the day. That deck is really insane. And I'm really excited to look forward to playing my build. Hopefully my rest of my core gets shipped through the mail sometime this week. They mailed it literally the next day after I ordered it. And I'm kind of thinking about not using the Unchained stuff. I know that's the best build. However, I want to play my build a little different. I'm thinking about being really cheesy and making like a burn version of U-Bell. Just using a bunch of burn cards with the core U-Bell support. And just trying to just make people mad, to say the least. Just trying something fun into the next format. Because right now the format's a shit show, to say the least. Heroes, though. I know a lot of you guys was like, hey, Chris, man, when you bring back the heroes? I brought it back and I did pretty decent. Um... Wasn't really scared of anything, honestly, other than U Bell. U Bell back matchup was insane. A lot of hero players I've been noticing on Facebook, been doing really well with the deck. I mean, the deck still has the same issues. So, you know, you make Dark Law, you make Plasma, got DP. With the follow up Neil's plays, you're in a good position. However, it's so linear still, because a lot of time when you have those brick, like when heroes brick, they brick. Um, fortunately for me, I have a lot of muscle memory with the deck, so I didn't brick too bad and i kind of knew how to play out of the bad hands and i think after playing the fire cane deck i just kind of got used to looking at my hands like you know what if i break if i just draw bad i just lose i mean my enthusiasm for this format is kind of like eh like if you just lose if you lose a game you just lose a game and there's no point in getting butthurt about it but i think heroes is a solid contender for the format really excited i got to um play because it was really fun using it to say the least like i kind of got i kind of missed it low key because i'm like i mean i miss going hero lives into stratos into neos into the dp and then playing it again felt like man it was like reunited and it feels so good reunited man stratos was just like I told you about my best friend, but no, no, seriousness though, man, it was a pretty fun game. Um, plan on using this deck until at least I get my U Bell core built. Um, like I said, I'm not building any heroes U Bell. I'm gonna build the most competitive version of U Bell I can think of. I know Unchained is that. I'm gonna turn my own build first. You guys know that I just gotta be quirky and be different. However, if my build don't work, I'm probably just gonna make the Unchained build. That seems to be a really good build. Thoughts about the format though. Just to wrap up this um, closing statement, because like the tournament experience is a tournament experience. I'm not really prepping for anything right now. I do want to try to get my invites. I do want to go to nationals this year. I just don't have time to call off every weekend for like an OTS championship or a regionals. Yeah, being an adult sucks. And then I got to save money to go to Texas for nationals, which also is like that. Her airplane tickets are expensive so far. So that's neither here or there. My goal is just to get a regional invite. So that's my goal for the next couple of months. I know there's a Milwaukee regional coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to call off short notice to go to that. So we still just trying to figure everything out. And my goal is to hopefully hit an OTS championship before national season. I know I got a lot of time, but that is the goal. But yeah, man, for you guys that made it to this far in the video, smash that like button. If the video up to 100 likes, that'll be awesome. Also, make sure to check out my links in the description. Shout out to y'all who been using my links, bro. I be at work. I get a PayPal notification from um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint or every blue moon when y'all use the Imperium Duelist discount code. I get a payment from Imperium Duelist. So, shout out to you guys who have been using my discount codes to save you guys some money and also put more money back in my pocket, man. So, if you guys want to 
help your boy out and just don't want to directly donate, I have Yu-Gi-Oh! discounts in the description down below. Imperium Duelist discount to save you 10%. If you guys that buy packs and cards and stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint.com. Save yourself 7% on a product. Links in the description below. But yeah, man, it's your boy Rogue on this happy Sunday. By the time you get the guys getting this video, about to finish editing this vlog, and I'm signing out. Peace. Hopefully, next time you guys see me, I'll be using you, Bill. Peace and stay in a bit. Have a great night.